I have empathy for like kids and animals. Oh, okay, that's nice. That's it's a nice some, start. It's that's something. a start. A kid. It's yeah. something. That's that's a step in the right direction. Ooh. I'm sorry. No, they <laughs> say Jesus. I didn't mean no, they say that's. No, what you know what? I'm old enough to. I'll never satisfy you. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, that's a they, step in the right direction. They say that that is what uh, would separate you from, say, a, a sociopath, a serial killer, is that you care about animals, you care about children. So that's that's good. That's good there news you go. for you today. Because I've taken those polls. You ever see that poll? Are you a serial killer? Oh, the test. <laughs> yes, I, yeah, have, ta- the I fourth- have taken that test. After- it has not gone well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. After the fourth question, you're like, all right, let's uh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you laugh am, am at I the pain late- and misery of others? Uh, <laughs> I think we got that one. If it's on TV, and I don't like, look, I don't, I'm trying to think of something. Uh, yeah, no, I think I do. <laughs> Every time I saw that guy wipe out on his scooter. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was, it was amazing. <laughs> it's just all the guy. <laughs> well, that's always funny, though. Falling, people falling. Old, always wait, an older man was on a what? He's on a scooter? He's on a scooter. He was riding like a Harley, and he like he came whipping out. It was one of those. I was on the other side of the road, and there was this concrete divider, and he he just he was going too fast, and he couldn't make the turn, and he hit the the the, the concrete thing, and he high sided. And went like up and over, just like landed and just slid on his face. Oh my god! And I had to like, oh I had to stop my car, right? Uh-huh. And I was the first guy there, and he had rolled over on his back, and I walked up to him, and he was just like, unconscious, just going like, ah, yeah. <laughs> it's like spitting teeth. Cool. Get to the funny part. Oh my god! Funny, the funny part is when this cop finally shows up. The guy was like fucking like 55. It's like, should he have been retired by now? When did you start becoming a cop when you're still driving a cruiser? So he pulls up and just completely could give a fuck. He just walked up to the guy. He has hands in his pockets. And he just looked over and he just goes, you all right? <laughs> yeah, it was. I you relate just... to this. When I was a kid, I don't know if you ever saw this, but there was uh some Christian network. Back then, not, there was nothing on TV. There right. were a couple of channels. There was never anything good on. And there was this show that we used to watch that was made with uh, sort of claymation puppets called Davy and Goliath. Oh, yeah. And they always supposed to have a good moral about how to behave. Davy was a boy who would sometimes do naughty things. And then he'd learn his lesson. And it was put out by some association of ministers. I swear to God, my brothers and I would watch this because there was (laughs) – you would flip the channel and they're bowling on one channel. And there's a Catholic mass on the other channel. Uh, So you'd watch Davy and Goliath because at least it was a story and there was some claymation. Anyway, Davy (laughs) Davy and Goliath go camping with the dad and the mom. (laughs) And Davy goes off and he sees a well and – uh, or he sees a, a beautiful natural pond, and he finds some paint, some raspberry paint, and he pours it into the pond, <laughs> turning it all bright, you know, red. And yeah, it's a big bucket. And, yeah, huge bucket. Was a little little pond, and then he's laughing. He says, "Look, Goliath, I made a big thing of raspberry goop," and. Then the father comes in and yells at him and says, look what you've done. And all the animals are gathered around and they can't drink from this pond anymore because it's been ruined. My brothers and I were laughing so hard. (laughs) We were crying. We were laughing so hard. I'm telling you, I understand exactly what you're talking about. He, I think these animals ended up dying. <laughs> and my brothers and I are on the floor laughing oh that Davy had said, look, I made a big thing of strawberry <laughs> It's terrible. I'm sorry. but There's that- no reason to apologize. Yeah, they were, they were claymation animals. No, there is. Like nobody there died. There is. You know, we, did you ever pour raspberry paint into a pond? No, I so saw that. Fine. But if I had, you, you can know. sit there and laugh. You know what I love? Is when Dave, when Davey every once in a while would get into a fight and he would get the shit kicked out of him. Uh-huh. His, because it was claymation, didn't have the, the, the money. His hair was still perfect. And then they just put a couple of strands of clay on his forehead <laughs> <laughs> to indicate that Davey got his ass kicked. <laughs> These they are the have things- no idea what we're talking about. This, this show was on 65 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> but this is, I'm trying to explain our childhoods. This is what it was like back then. There's nothing to watch, nothing to do. And occasionally someone in the house would lose their temper in a way that would frighten you. And then it was never spoken about again. Yeah. Yeah, that was basically 
that was it. My brother, I, I don't know if I'd ever tell you this. My brother was like a genius, man. He used to, my, my parents used to argue. He had a, he had a, uh, a dual cassette boombox and he used to record the argument and then put music underneath. <laughs> And one of the greatest ones ever was he put Led Zeppelin No Quarter, which has this really John Paul Jones plays this haunting keyboard. It was right there. It, it like it was scored yeah. perfectly because it started off slow with them going back and forth and then <laughs> gradually and just Robert Plant closed the door, put out the light. <laughs> <laughs> and right his bottoms drums, but I came in my dad, I'll fuck out of get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Dude, and we used to listen to that fucking thing for like years. And then we finally played it for my dad and he laughed his ass off. He's like, oh, he he liked it. I thought it was hilarious. He thought it was fucking hilarious. He never understood anything. We had him watch the great Santini one time, hoping that he would get it. And he didn't. He ended up just loving the movie and just walking around going, I am the great Santini. We're like. No, no it's about both. a dad who's who's very abusive to his son. Yeah, who loves his family but doesn't understand that he's slowly killing everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And your dad watched that and thought, "Thank you for showing me." Oh, he thought this was, uplifting <laughs> film about how was, we should all behave. It was like Sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> when Harry met Sally. 